Hello, greetings from Master Hospitals Bangalore. I am Dr. Ravi Gopal Varma, Lead Consultant Neurosurgeon and Director of Neurosciences. I am Dr. Hema Krishna, Consultant Neurologist and Movement Disorder Specialist, Aster CMI Hospital, Bangalore. Every year, 11th April is celebrated as World Parkinson's Disease Day and the month of April is observed as Parkinson's Awareness Month. So, on this day, I am going to talk briefly about Parkinson's disease. What is Parkinson's disease? Basically, Parkinson's disease is the second most common neurodegenerative disorder and symptoms of Parkinson's disease occur due to deficiency of a chemical called dopamine in our brains. The common question asked by our patients is, Doctor, why did we get this condition? What causes Parkinson's disease? Well, this is an unanswered question. In majority of cases, there is no identifiable cause for Parkinson's disease. Genetic causes have been noted in as much as 10% of the patients. Also, certain patients who are on certain psychiatric drugs and drugs for gastrointestinal problems may develop symptoms similar to Parkinson's disease and such a condition is medically called drug-induced Parkinsonism. In such patients, withdrawal of drugs can result in improvement of symptoms. Also, there are certain studies which suggest that heavy metal exposure and pesticide exposure can result in Parkinsonism. Now, how to identify Parkinson's disease? Symptoms of Parkinson's disease typically starts around 60 years of age, but it can also be seen in younger individuals. Tremor is the most common symptom of Parkinson's disease and it usually starts in the hands or upper limbs. The peculiar point about tremors in Parkinson's disease is it is usually present in rest and tends to decrease with action. This is in quite contrast to most of the other disorders causing tremors which tend to increase with activity. Also, patients and their family members often complain that patient is taking progressively long time to do their regular activities like bathing, dressing or even brushing. In fact, slowness of activities is the most important symptom of Parkinson's disease. Patients may also experience stiffness of limbs. We have seen patients who have been treated for frozen shoulders for months before being diagnosed as Parkinson's disease. Walking difficulties also form an important symptom complex in Parkinson's disease. Patients have a slow walk, they tend to stoop forward and they tend to shuffle while walking. Apart from this, memory disturbances, sleep disturbances, change in handwriting and voice are the other important symptoms. Coming to treatment, the good news is, unlike other neurodegenerative disorders, Parkinson's disease is very much responsive to treatment and the most commonly used drug is levodopa. Early identification and treatment initiation can result in miraculous improvements in patients' conditions. Apart from this, even in patients with advanced disease, newer therapeutic options like deep brain stimulation surgeries can result in significant improvements in patients' quality of life. Hence, it is important to consult a movement disorder specialist and check for feasibility of such an option. Also, following a healthy diet rich in antioxidants and regular exercise helps Parkinson's disease patients significantly. We are here to commemorate a very important day, the Parkinson's Day and the Parkinson's Month. As we all know, Parkinson's disease is a very debilitating disease that is there. And um, uh, our contribution to Parkinson's disease as surgeons is that there is a surgical treatment for Parkinson's. Many people do not know that we have a surgical treatment for Parkinson's. When do we operate a patient with Parkinson's disease? As the medications wear out. So Parkinson's works very well with the medications. Sindopa is an excellent medicine that really works. But at some point, the Sindopa causes side effects because of overdoses. And when that happens, that is the time we come in with something called deep brain stimulation. Deep brain stimulation is a, a procedure in which electrodes are placed into certain nuclei in the brain. And with the stimulation of the brain, we are able to change the signs and symptoms of Parkinson's disease. And a person becomes very mobile, socially acceptable after that. And, but it's not very easy because the most important thing is to diagnose Parkinson's. It should be the right Parkinson's disease that uh, benefits from DBS. And it should be 
completely evaluated by a movement disorder neurologist. Once they evaluate and then they refer the patient to us, we have to counsel them that this is what uh, we are going to do. We're going to place electrodes and things are going to be much better. We cannot get better than the medication, but we get as good as the medication for sustained period and we're able to reduce the medications. There is no cure for Parkinson's disease, but according to me, if you can control the symptoms of Parkinson's disease, it's as good as cure because Parkinson's disease is not going to affect your normal functioning as a brain. It doesn't, it's not like dementia or Alzheimer's where you have loss of function of the brain. No, brain is absolutely bright. You can function as absolutely normally from the brain perspective, but physically you are uh, debilitated by the disease. That physical debilitation is something that is overcome by DBS. So as I was telling you, the most important thing is if you ha or your relatives have Parkinson's disease, meet a specialist, a movement disorder specialist. They will evaluate you and they will give you uh, a, a green signal saying, okay, you are a candidate for DBS. Then you come in for DBS and the outcome is going to be wonderful. It's very, very important to meet a movement disorder neurologist because they are the people who will be able to assess whether you are a candidate for DBS and a right assessment, then the treatment is right. There's a lot of money involved. In that case, we need to be very sure about the diagnosis. That is why it's important to meet. On this World Parkinson's Disease Day, let's unite to spread awareness about Parkinson's disease and help our patients fight against it. And here at Aster, we have a center of excellence for movement disorder. We have a movement disorder specialist and we have movement disorder surgeons and functional neurosurgeons who together bring out the best with the, uh, uh, with the very able support of uh, neuro rehabilitation, neuropsychology, because all of them together, we give comprehensive treatment for a Parkinson's patient. For any further queries, we are available at Aster CMI Hospitals, Bangalore. Thank you.